listen. Can you hear it? Death is listening. It will take the first poet who screams, dying times here, crying times here. So I pray so quietly only the Lord can hear it. Death, he sensed it. He said, I'm leaving tonight. Now, all my icons are gone, but I can still hear their songs, no longer live anymore. The industry got them, then death claimed them. We really didn't know we had them, we had them. Flags should be flown at half mass. Declare a national day of mourning, burn candles like incense. There should be weeping and gnashing in teeth for men such as these. Ray, Barry, Luther, James. They wrote rhythms like wild horses being tamed by mythical titans with one foot in Olympus and the other in our hearts. Casting down lightning bolts of love disguised as musical art. Now, my radio don't sound like it used to, though. Like this new music is not what I'm used to. On more than just these bubblegum classics, and if we consider throwbacks to be muted number one, problem is, nobody ever listened to them. I mean, if no musicians were used in the making of that song, can you really call that noise music? If all you do is make beats, I mean, that's why my ears got these bruises. I let these unwelcome carpetbaggers in, and I, I just want some singers back again. Come on. Now, if I could sing like Ray did, I would display my art form. If I could move like James did, I'd open up my heart for him. I'd tell all those dead singers that came before him, welcome my brother Michael home. He did his best to hold it down for him. Now, I don't know what happened when all the icons stopped. Somehow, between that and now, our music died. Sooner or later, a scene will come along and let you know that music one day will still survive. Thank you.